Hello and welcome on board of Robby Bobby. That's a solid, full displacement yacht with a steel hull and aluminium superstructure built in Netherlands in the Lynx shipyard and delivered in 2013. We had a chance to jump on board just before she enters the shipyard for her 10-year arena survey and winter works. So I'm excited to be able to show you this yacht and her hidden gems. Robbie Bobby is a true gentleman yacht. Her exterior was intentionally designed to a classic ship form with a canoe stern, which allows more comfortable, safe and long cruising while inside the yacht has a modern and light interior, big windows, high ceilings and lots of space. To me it looks like a noble chateau with a modern interior design and thoughtful details that just make sense. Robbie Bobby is loaded with latest technologies and modern features. She counts three decks, 287 gross tonnage and 200 square meters of exterior spaces. And she has much more to offer. But before we start our tour, let's have a look at the history of the shipyard. Lynx shipyard was established in Nykerk, Netherlands in 2011 and is dedicated to building the highest quality yachts and support vessels. In the grand tradition of Dutch shipbuilders, the yachts are built with an obsessive attention to quality, right down to the smallest detail. The Lynx team have decades of experience delivering exceptional dependable yachts that push the boundaries of design, performance and craftsmanship. Here we are at the aft deck, which is set up as a lounge area with these two sofas and the coffee table in the middle. On the port side we have a service corner with some storage here, uh, a sink, a wireless charging stations for your phone and also the storage for the fire hose. I like that this yacht was smartly designed with an abundance of exterior spaces. On similar sized yachts, you might sometimes feel exposed on the aft deck, while on Robbie Bobby, you will feel above the rest and also well protected thanks to the high railings. Let me start showing you the unique features of this yacht. This passerelle looks quite ordinary, right? You will use it in the marinas to access the dock, but while at anchor, it converts into swimming stairs for easy access to the water. But that's not the only access to the sea on this yacht. On the starboard side, Robby Bobby has a side garage. Its door opens up and converts into a proper beach club, which also serves as a side boarding platform for the tender. Since the yacht has its own chase boat, 28-foot axopar, which is towed behind during navigation, this garage is now used to store some water toys, life jackets and spare parts. The size of the swim platform is 5 meters long and 2 meters wide. There is a shower here that you can use to rinse off the salt after swimming in the sea, which can be accessed with this swim ladder. Going up the side boarding stairs, we arrive to the main deck starboard, which has a door that will lead us to the hallway. And inside we have a conveniently placed day hat on the right, so you don't need to go through saloon in your wet swimsuit. Arriving from the hallway, we enter the main saloon, which, is, uh, which has a traditional layout and well arranged. Uh, we have the dining area right here with a glass table and with a mechanism that allows to extend it and sit up to 12 people. On the starboard side we have the storage where you can store your dishes, uh, glasses and cutlery for the dinner service. It's really useful for the crew. Uh, behind we have the big uh, L-shaped sofa and uh, all uh, actually all the furniture and wall panels on Robby Bobby are made out of the washed oak and the furniture has uh, rounded corners so it softens the overall ambience of the boat. 
unique feature of Robbie Bobby is this uh, huge windows all over the boat. And uh, in the main saloon, two of them actually are retractable and can, can be opened. This is one of them. And on the port side, there is another one. From the main deck saloon, we enter the hallway, which has the staircase, which leading to the bridge deck and also the upper deck saloon. There is additional storage space behind these wall panels. There is a side door, which um, we entered from the swim platform, from the sideboarding uh, platform. There is a galley behind this sliding door and the day head. And now we're entering in the master bedroom on the main deck. In the middle of the master cabin, there is a queen-size bed with the rounded corners. You don't hurt yourself when you walk around it. There is a nicely recessed TV in front of it with a TV drawer where you can store all your installations like Apple TV, remote controls. Uh, on the starboard side, there is a nice study with a desktop covered in leather. And here we have the walk-in closet, which is not a regular feature on the yachts of this size. And you see how big is it? There is space to store your suitcases and you have a full height uh, mirror on the door, which is really useful. Uh, on the port side, we have the um, soft bench and also some uh, built-in storage. Actually, in the master cabin, we also have two retractable windows uh, that can be opened. So if you don't want to switch on the air con, you can just open the windows and enjoy the sea breeze. The master cabin has its ensuite bathroom with a large window on the starboard side, the vanity table just underneath it, the double sink configuration with a surface material which is made out of a great artificial stone, uh, mirrors behind which you can actually find some more additional storage and also the sockets, and the um, shower, which is actually quite big. You can see how high the ceilings are. And it has the rainfall shower head and just a regular shower. So it's it's very nicely set up bathroom. And what I would particularly highlight are the materials that are used in all the cabins and bathrooms of Robbie Bobby because there are long lasting, high quality materials that are easy to clean and maintain. And if you are choosing the materials for your own home, you would probably choose them. The access to the guest cabins is through the saloon by the staircase leading down to the lower deck. The guest area on this yacht is located at the rear of the boat. Engine room is in the middle and crew accommodation is in the front. Now the stairs we arrive to the lower deck where we have two identical VIP cabins and two identical twin cabins. So let's check one of the VIP cabins. And wow, this is a spacious cabin. Uh, there is a queen size bed, really nice bedside tables. Uh, there is a small study here, which also converts into a vanity table. Wardrobe, wardrobe, wow, a lot of space really. And the bathroom, it's also very big. The shower could probably fit two people. And uh, yeah, I mean, the quality again is amazing of the finishes, everything. It's a, it's a really good. So here we have uh, another VIP cabin, which is identical to the one that we just have seen. So let's check out the twin cabins. It is important to mention that each twin cabin has a Pullman bed. It means that the boat can actually sleep up to 12 guests. Uh, it has really nice uh, wide portholes, a lot of storage again here behind this door and really spacious and sweet shower and bathroom. Taking up the stairs from the main deck aft, we arrive to the upper deck. And this area is one of the most used. On the back there, you have a huge lounge area, which you can use for sunbathing, or if you have the on and extended like it's now, this area will be perfect to take a nap after a, after a good lunch. 
Here we have yet another lounge area with the armchairs and the coffee table. And you can see that the doors to the upper saloon can be opened completely. So this area converts in kind of extended terrace. The saloon, we have a really long, nice couch on the starboard side, underneath of which is actually a lot of storage. And we have a nicely equipped bar over here with the coffee machine, with the drinks fridge, also some cupboards for your coffee cups, obviously, and a nice maker. Another important feature to mention is that Robby Bobby has this water filter installation, which provides you with three types of water. There is a cold water, room temperature, and the sparkling. And then you can use these reusable water bottles to fill it with water that you like. Like this, uh, you save on the plastic waste and storage. The upper saloon is usually used as the cinema room. You have a rollout screen right here and you can install a projector or you can also install them outside and enjoy open air cinema. A part of this you have a TV uh, on the rise and fall mechanism right here and as on the main deck you can see how huge the windows are. They provide a lot of natural light. Let's move forward and check the pilot house. As everything on this yacht, the pilot house is really spacious. Nice workstation here with a large couch and a full command center to operate this beauty. So let's check the equipment on the command center. Here we have the Furuno Eco Sounder, um, engine monitors. These are the basic switches for navigation lights, power supply to generators. Uh, this is the keyboard control for this multifunction displays. You can put your radar or chart water here. There is a computer monitor with a, uh, connected to a time zero uh, server. server. Uh, there's the autopilot here, uh, bow thruster control, backup steering control, and also the steering wheel. There is a Furuno AIS transponder with a display. Uh, here we have the NIAT stabilization control panel with a screen and um, engine throttle and sheet control. So everything you need right at your fingertips. Nicely laid out helm station. Going out from the pilot house, we move forward and we find this really cute hangout spot, which is just actually uh, in front of the bridge. Uh, we have the fixed lounge area here, uh, sofa here, and it's a nice place to be when you are in, in the ports because you have a nice overview and it's really secluded space on the yacht. Going up the stairs, we arrive to the sun deck, where we find this alfresco dining table covered by the sunshade, which gives it a really cozy feeling. In the center of the sun deck, there is a bar with a nice work surface. I believe it's a very busy area during the season. Behind these lockers, there are uh, ice maker, drinks fridge. We have the teppanyaki grill here and another water filter. It's important to explain that this area was completely refitted and the previous mast was replaced by this open arch mast to give space to this beautiful bar. And the sun deck was extended to be able to install this big jacuzzi and the forward sunbathing area. From the sun deck we can oversee the foredeck. It is a working foredeck which serves as a storage for the toys. There is a FIP crane with lifting capacity of 600 kg. There are two windlasses with windlass controls inside the chain locker. We have two anchors of 180 kg each and 140 meter long anchor chains. So now let me show you another working spaces on Robbie Bobby. Entering the professionally equipped galley, we can see how well it is arranged. Uh, it has a mealy oven right here, the big dishwasher here, the uh, fridge for drinks, and a lot of also cold space behind. There are four fridges. Again, Robbie Bobby is a charter yacht, so there is actually enough storage for all the food. We have the central aisle here where chef is working, making the last touch-ups of the dishes. There is a window on the port side, two sinks, and the access to the port side deck.
From the galley by the staircase, we access the laundry space and the crew mess. Laundry counts with two Miele professional washing and drying machines. The crew mess has a small kitchen with a dishwasher, fridge, microwave and a dining table. Further forward, there are three crew cabins that can accommodate six crew members. Robbie Bobby is powered by two Caterpillar C18 engines, 600 horsepower each, very robust engines. They were built for long navigation and low fuel consumption. There are two Caterpillar generators, 52 kW each. Uh, fuel consumption on those is around 10 liters per hour for each one. There are two Whisper water makers that produce 250 liters per hour each one. The hydraulic unit for Nayad Zero Speed Stabilization System and Haman Black Water Treatment Plant. It is a rather sophisticated system, so pretty much all the black water is purified to the level that it can be discharged to the sea. We are at the end of the video, and the conclusion is that Robby Bobby is a proper big yacht on a stable platform with three decks that offer a huge amount of space. You can notice Dutch shipbuilding quality in every detail, both technically and in the exterior and interior finishes and materials. Robby Bobby is a successful charter yacht. This season she chartered 87 days, it means it will return you more money than actual yearly running costs. Also, Robbie Bobby was recently painted, both hull and superstructure, and now she's entering shipyard to undergo 10-year arena service works. So if you're interested in this yacht, get in touch with me, I will be happy to provide you with more details, and thank you for watching the video. We speak your team. Let's talk.